Thank f- Finally! It is over the line, and ladies and gentlemen, I can happily say, as you already know, because it's probably broke the internet for us Celtic fans, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Roberts has signed for Celtic. The is up where we belong. So after speculation and images being shown for the past few hours, it has finally been announced right about now, quarter past six to be precise, on the Celtic Twitter that Patrick Roberts has signed for Celtic. An announcement video has been made, one of those classic things you do nowadays, it seems every team's doing them, but I can't express my excitement enough, it's good to have him back, Paddy Roberts, we all expected it to happen over the past week or two for him to join the club back, and he is here, just a shame we didn't get it wrapped up a lot sooner, as I feel like it should have been done a lot sooner, but the main thing is, it's done now, before the transfer window has ended, one of the priorities for Celtic has been covered, we've got ourselves a proper talented winger who can change the game. I made my video yesterday, generally yesterday, talking about when the hell is Patrick Roberts actually going to get signed up for Celtic, what's happening, why is it taking so long, uh, and it's finally happened, it's happened, it is over the line officially, just the last little kind of details we're waiting to see now, we're going to see what kind of deal he's on, presumably a loan deal at this point, maybe during this video I'll actually get an update on that, but I'm presuming we're getting him on a one year loan deal, the question is, is it going to con uh, consist of any fees, is there going to be any fees involved, uh, future fees, uh, buyback thing that we could buy him at the end of the year, I doubt it, I guess it's just going to be a strict one year loan where we'll probably pay his wages, but the fact of the matter is, who cares, we have got Patrick Roberts, but there's also this kind of second outlook that I feel like a lot of people are going to take from it, and that is a kind of more disappointing outlook, at the end of the day I can understand that disappointment, I can understand that frustration, but you've got to realise, we've had Patrick Roberts now, by the end of this loan we will have had Patrick Roberts for two and a half years, in which if he plays this season the way he has for the past year and a half at Celtic, then that's the kind of time we'd average keep a great player at Celtic. In recent times, Virgil van Dijk came in two seasons, Victor Wanyama came in two seasons, Fraser Foster a bit longer, but that's the kind of average. So when you think about it, we've brought him in on loan, we're going to have him for two and a half years, that's a lot longer than say other players who have had on loan for only a year. Two and a half years we've had him, he's basically been a Celtic player. So really, can we be that disappointed? The fact he's coming in on loan and Man City have agreed to give him a loan for another year, considering they wanted him to go to the Premier League, we've got to be grateful enough for that. And we've got to be grateful enough to Patrick Roberts, who's decided to spend another year in our league and not the English Premier League, because there was options on the table. There was options for him to go to France as well. So you've got to look at it. He's took a big move here, in which he could, he's passed up on better options because he loves the club. That's what we're presuming. And you've got to love that about the guy. And at the end of the day, even if it's just a year loan extension, every little helps, as Tesco would say, every little helps, and I'm more than chuffed about a one year loan deal, I'm not going to look at the disappointing aspect of things, because why should we, we've got them for a year, we're trying to progress to become a bigger team in Europe, and this is exactly what we need, and who knows, he might help open doors for the future, maybe we might sign him next year, but that's the kind of situation we've got to not get bogged down on, will we actually sign him, because at the end of the day, we've had him for two and a half years, we can't keep him forever. You've got to be realistic with that. We can't have him forever. We've had him for two and a half years, which is great. Um, but it might open doors for maybe other players to see what has happened with Patrick Roberts, how well he's enjoyed his time at the club, and other players of his quality, of similar quality, come in and join us on a loan or a permanent transfer. But he's here, and it's a massive boost to help us get through to the next round of, say, the Champions League or the Europa League. Being realistic, Europa League. He is going to be a massive part in this campaign for finishing third in the group stage. He is more than massive. He's one of the players we needed. We needed that creative spark, as I said in yesterday's video. I don't want to regurgitate that, but he is what we needed. He is the exact player we needed. We need him back, and he's here again. Very nice to see. Just waiting for the last few details. Now, I'll have a quick look to see if I can see anything, and uh, I'll let you know about that. After further inspection, inspection I can confirm it is a one-year loan deal, as you probably all know by now, but it's good to see. That's what we expected. Shame we couldn't get him in a permanent transfer, but you've got to work with the team. Man City probably want to keep him at the club for a bit and maybe have plans for him in the future, but at the end of the day, I'm more than happy. I'm just so happy, so delighted we could get this over the line. I'm sure every Celtic fan will agree that he's going to be a massive part of our season. I would be missing that something on the wings going forward, that creativity that he offers, we have been missing. And now he's back, slot right into the first team, no bother. He's got the number seven shirt now. Make it iconic, make it iconic. Who knows, we might sign him next year. I don't expect us to. I'm not going to get bogged down if we don't. Two and a half years is good enough for me. And uh, aye, Patrick Roberts is at Celtic once more. One more year. Big week now for Celtic. What else will we do heading into deadline day? Do you expect to see anything? 
maybe not after this blockbuster for us to be honest we needed it we needed it so that's it if you enjoyed like and subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you all next time